Welcome to the fifth tutorial in the Recoma tutorial series. Today we're going to look at the layers type objects. These objects are designed to separate audio into different layers, extractions, or components. Each algorithm is biased towards listening to different aspects of a sound and performing extraction based on that bias. Let's take a quick look at three algorithms. Fluid transients functions a lot like a de-clicking algorithm you may have used to repair audio. It looks for radical, fast-moving changes in a sound, which might be considered outliers or transients. You could use this as a way of repairing some audio that is spoiled by clicks and pops, or as a way of emphasising these aspects if that's your aesthetic goal. In this example, we have a mostly harmonic sound with a few transient pops along the way. I want to get rid of these pops so that I can focus on the harmonic element. Just using the default parameters, I am able to extract the clicks into a new take, which I can then separate out further with the native Reaper action. The caveat to remember is that your original item is the first take, and this gets separated out too. You'll see I immediately get rid of the first new track that's created, leaving me with just the processed items. Fluid HPSS is a harmonic percussive source separator, which does exactly what it says on the tin. Given a sound, it tries to extract elements which are percussive from those that are harmonic. It makes some assumptions about how these two layers behave in a spectrum, which most of the time works pretty well, especially if your material is percussive. Given this piano sample, I'm going to run HPSS and see what comes out. Notice how the harmonic string vibrations are separated from the piano's percussive onsets as the hammers hit the strings. I could emphasise these more by splitting the two layers to their own tracks and then altering them independently. Because all of the decomposition algorithms produce null summing outputs, it means that we can fairly accurately reconstruct the original source audio when we sum the layers back together. I fairly drastically change one of the layers so we don't get a perfect reconstruction, but it's pretty good at changing the balance of harmonic and percussive elements. Fluid Signs tries to decompose a sound into two components, the sinusoids and everything else, also called the residual. The sinusoidal component captures parts of the sound that are tonal and perceptually moved together, which is useful if you're trying to separate something melodic from something noise-based. You may remember this sample from the first tutorial where I gave a quick overview of some of the toolbox algorithms. Using the NMF algorithm, I separated out this sample into two components and hoped that the more click-like elements would be separated from the baseline. The science algorithm is well suited to this task because the lower frequency bass is relatively melodic and easily reconstructed using sinusoids. 
everything else will end up in the residual extraction, which will result in a fairly decent binary separation. All of these algorithms work in a similar way, clawing apart the audio into distinct extractions or layers. The nuance in using each of these algorithms is thinking about how the computer is listening to the audio and what kind of analytical model it is based on. This will help guide you to the right algorithm to start with, and once you're there, you'll want to start experimenting with the parameters to see if some divergent possibilities appear. For example, the transients algorithm is great for removing clicks, but don't forget how these make up the original sound. What happens if you emphasize these instead and start to apply more traditional mixing techniques to that layer? The possibilities when working like this are endless and outside the box thinking is often rewarded. While the focus up till now has been on how the algorithms might produce new or isolated sounds, these algorithms can be really useful for pre-processing audio to be used with other Ryukoma scripts. In particular, segmentation can be made a lot easier by focusing on one aspect of a sound first and then segmenting based on that. Because everything in an extract is made as a take, we can run the segmentation algorithm on that and it will apply to all of the takes in the same media item.
That brings us to the end of this tutorial. In the penultimate tutorial, I'll be looking at the last algorithm in the toolbox, the NMF or non-negative matrix factorization process, which belongs to the objects family of processes.